Okay, okay, okay. Check this. My package came from Amazon. As you can see, I've already opened it, but I want you all to see. I'm super excited. Okay. I'm just going to show you what's in the box. Labels and a marker, okay. 12, 32 ounce mason jars. <laughs> Come with some plastic lids as well. Some rings or whatever to, you know, to seal, right? Ooh. This week I'm having salad in a jar. Mind your own self business. You hungry for a salad? Get at me, man. Okay, so I've completely opened the box. I took out um, the jars that I'm going to use right away, right? But I wanted to also show you how it goes. Okay, jar. They all have a metal regular lid on them. Two piece, right? Each jar come with also a plastic lid. I thought it only came with four or five, you know, temporary use. <laughs> All right, so look, in here, we're gonna open these. Let me show you right quick. Just a GP, right? Okay, got to show you what to do with it. If you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. <laughs> this is the gasket, if you will, for the lid to help seal it. I don't think I'm necessarily gonna need it, but I'm gonna use it, right? See it's in there? And then now you close it. As if you put liquid in here and you do this, it'll help seal the lid, right? I don't mind using these, but why every time I wash these during lids, they start rusting over, even if I, dry them right away. I can't keep buying tops. I'm so thankful for the plastic lid. Okay. And I'm going to personalize them. <gasps> Let me make these salads. Okay, as I said, we're making salad in a jar, it's a 32 ounce jar, okay? In my mind, laying my stuff out, how I'm going to load the jar makes sense. So, straight back, straight back. Oh, let me open my olives, Jesus. All that work I put in, they going in this jar. <laughs> okay, so... Let me tell you what we're gonna put in the jar, what we have here. Cucumbers, y'all see that? Let me see. Make sure they're good for the people. Mm -hmm. Cherry tomatoes, my favorite. Use what you have or your favorite. I'm gonna put celery in. People don't really care for celery a lot. And if you don't care for celery, cut it as thin as you can. Her celery is good for you. I'll put some information in the link, okay? We also have shredded carrots. I didn't do this. I bought it in the bag already pre-cut for another recipe, but now I'm getting rid of them. I didn't cook the chickpeas myself. Organic, in the can, rinse and drain. Season them with my house blend, okay? Steamed green beans, fresh green beans. Yes, I steam them. I'm gonna put some farro. This is new to me, but he going in. I, I cooked this in vegetable stock and then seasoned after when it didn't, the vegetable stock didn't do enough for it. To me, I seasoned it, do what you do. Got these at Codco. I have this many left. I'm gonna put them in these jars. I'm going to also add these steamed and seasoned lemon dill potatoes. I washed and prepped some purple kale. I don't know if you can see it. I like to put a damp paper towel inside the bag and take out as much air as possible and refrigerate. 
It usually lasts for days doing it this way, okay? I also have some prepared, almost the same way except it's in a plastic. This is romaine lettuce, organic. Because it's my business and I want to, some broccoli sprouts is going to be on the top. Let me give you a little tip. When you're doing salad in a jar, a lot of people like to put the dressing in first. Not me. Dressing is going to be on the side, okay? So, as I said, everything is lined up according to how I want to load the jar. Um, I'm going to, this should be enough to do five jars, but if I get, if I get toward the end and I see I still have more, maybe I'll be friendly and offer some to another coworker. But, let's get to building, okay? I'm just going to start with the first jar, okay? We're going to put, I'm going to show you how to do the one, and then I'll come back and show you the end result for everybody, okay? There's no measurement here. You're just putting a little bit of all ingredients, right? Mm-hmm. And like I said, if you line it up like you're going to use it, you might be all right. Look at that. Let me get a spoon or something also for these grains and stuff. Plenty of carrots, okay? Hold on. Let me get a utensil. Hang tight. Okay. Let's get some of these chick daddies in here. I'm not going to put a whole lot, just two tablespoons. Can you see that? Let me turn it. Okay. Can y'all see that? Okay. Let's put a few of those green beans down in there. Just basically, I'm putting a little bit of everything, okay? Then we're going to put a couple spoons of the fire roll in here, right? This is all at the bottom. No dressing in here. Um... Something is telling me to cut up these artichokes. So y'all be patient and hold on, let me chop up some because I don't want these big dogs in here. Okay, this is what I chose to do, friends. See, they were big like, like so like that. I split them in half long way. So we're gonna drop a few of those down in that jar, right? These are the kind that's in, in oil. So marinated in oil. Let me wash my hand. Let me put one more in there because I can still see the center. Boom. Let me wash my hand right quick. Hold tight. Don't forget to have that dish water. Beautiful. Okay. I got to show y'all what's happening. Hold on. I layered them in there to cover up all of that because the oil and seasoning that's marinated that's in it. Hopefully, since it's going in the refrigerator, can drizzle down, right? Okay. So now... I'm going to put a couple of spoons of the white potatoes. Now, looking at it, it's not color coordinating like I want it. But anywho, I'm going to put some potatoes in here. This is a salad, people. Okay. Good. Let me show you. Hang tight. Let me show you. Let me show you. Bling, 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 bling. We haven't even put the lettuce in yet, okay? Now, I'm going to drop down also... A few of those fancy olives, okay? Not too many. Mm -hmm. But they going in there. See? And then... Mm -hmm. The cook is never hungry. Now, what I also learned... Let me move this over so y'all can see. I don't want to move this too much with this oil all over this board. But I want y'all to get this visual, right? Because I'm going to finish this one and then complete all of them. Let's move this back. Okay. So, now it's time to pack the lettuce in. What I learned is when you put the lettuce in, you pack it down as far as you can go. Right? Let's back it up a little bit. I'm going to put my Brussels sprouts in because they're small. I don't have time to be fighting to keep them under the lid. The romaine is larger cuts, so I put that on the top and smash down. Okay. So I'm just gonna mm -hmm, put that down in there. 
this hard hip. I like them anyway. Now let's put some purple kale. Okay. I chopped the kale up small. Okay. All right. Can you see that? See that? You can almost see everything that's in here. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. Let's open the romaine. Man, I use mushrooms. Okay. Now I'm going to stuff down the greens. Pack in as many as can fit, right? Salad in a jar. Beautiful. Let's get a little bit more. It's my business. I can do it because of Worcester. And it's still act like I can put some. Do I need to go buy some more lettuce to fill up all these, y'all? It's a salad, y'all. Okay. So, I'm not going to put dressing in. I've already discussed that. Let me put a lid on and show you the beauty. Right? I'm going to take a bowl, dump this out, drizzle on my dressing. And eat like I ain't it before. Okay? Let me build the rest of these jars. 